coming. I've got a lot of people I want to thank. <laughs> Firstly, Carlos Tevez for giving me a lift into court this morning. Crystal, who's been there for me every step of the way ever since we met in the hotel last night. Um, I'll be taking you back there afterwards for some quality time with the rest of the squad. <laughs> I want to thank the judge who was sat on the bench but unfortunately didn't get a game. <laughs> and finally to all the supporters who've been incredible. Every time I see a shirt with bent nine on the back, I think, wow, that's seven quid for me. I want to thank Shaw, Graham, Kirsch, solicitors. My defence today was better than it's been all season. In my honest opinion, the police wasted their time arresting me that afternoon. They should have been going after proper criminals like Joey Barton. <laughs> People have said I was wrong to do what I did, but I don't believe you can ever use the word wrong when it comes to Premier League footballers. Was Paolo Di Canio wrong when he Nazi saluted the Lazio fans? Was Eric Cantona wrong when he Kung Fu kicked a fan in the chest? Was Roy Keane wrong when he intentionally ended Alfie and Gaharlan's career? It's a very grey area. I did not act without careful consideration before the incident at Goodison Park. I made sure I took a fellow professional's advice. Unfortunately, that professional it was Peter Ottenwengi. <laughs> I've never been in any trouble like this before. I'm actually known for my charity work. I'm very, te I'm very keen to kick racism out of football and into the stands where it belongs. I'm a, I've also never drunk a drop of alcohol in my life. I'm a strict performance enhancing drugs man. Since my arrest, I haven't been allowed to attend football matches. I've tried to make something positive out of this, and while the lads have been busy playing, I've been shagging their wives. <laughs> I am now banned from attending football matches for the rest of the season. I don't think it'll have a long-term impact on my football career. Yes, I may not be allowed within one mile of a football ground for three months, but Tevez was 6,000 miles away for six months, and he still picked up a Premier League medal. Also, I get paid exactly the same, so result. I'm delighted to say that since the instant, I've been offered a new sponsorship deal with Nike. Nike only associate themselves with the very best role models in sport, and it's an honour to be joining the likes of Lance Armstrong, Tiger Woods and Oscar Pistorius. Finally, I want to thank Mario Balotelli, who's been a very stabling influence on me and everyone in the Manchester City dressing room for their tremendous support, especially Wayne Bridge, who owes me big time because I smashed John Terry's messes. Thank you, I've no further comment at this time. Thank you very much.